Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Book Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has not been seen by me for at least a couple of years and on a blood thinner. So when somebody's on a blood thinner, you have to be really careful not to make this area bleed. So let's see how I can help. Make sure that I don't make her bleed. So I'm gonna cut some and then I'm gonna mostly grind them down. I know it takes a little longer, but it's safer and, and uh, won't make you bleed okay marta yeah it's been how long it's been a couple of years i haven't seen you in a couple of years yes i know i know yeah it's been established i know you're you're trying to keep away from the doctors right you just well you can just take so many you know what i'm saying yeah what kind of other doctors are you seeing like oh wow are they, are they all nice to you oh yes <laughs> <laughs> pretty much nobody's mean to you my cardiologist is all right i see him next month uh-huh and EKG and all that stuff. Yeah. You had um you take blood thinner, right? Yes I do. Yeah, that's why you have to be very careful. Is that for your heart? Yes. <laughs> yeah. So what's happening with your heart? No, it's a it's aphid. I mean it's irregular. My heart beats irregular. Oh I see, I see. So how long have you been taking the blood thinner? Oh dear, for at least a year now. Oh it's a year? More. Okay. I hope it gets better. Anyway, next month I'll have a list of questions for him. Yeah. Are you going to be able to get off the medicine they said? I don't, they don't, don't know. You don't know. Yeah, is this going to be a lifelong thing or what? Yeah. How long have you had the AFib? Oh, dear. A couple of years now. A couple of years? Oh. When does it like come on? Is, is it like that all the time? Uh, it comes and goes. Uh, you can feel it basically in the morning. Oh, really? Oh. Your chest goes up and down. Oh, really? Yeah, you can see your clothing jump. Really? <laughs> that's yeah. kind of... That's kind of... That's a little scary. Yeah, that's scary, huh? Wow. Every morning? Or uh, usually, some morning? And then during the day, it calms down. Well, I take my uh, other medicine for it, too. Uh-huh. That kind of helps it? Thinners. Yeah. That kind of helps it, huh? Yeah. You take other medication like blood yeah. pressure medicine and things like that? Yeah, I'll take. Cholesterol medicine? Because I don't want to get a stroke. Right. Do you go walk around a lot? Exercise? I probably things? should. Uh -huh. But because sometimes of... my balance isn't very good. I have a cane though. Yeah, you have a very high arch foot, which usually people walk on the outside of the foot and it's very unstable that way a lot of people sprain their ankles and things like that so what i usually do for that for the high arch foot people is i get them a good support not only in the arch area but on the outside of the foot like on this area so that you don't walk like this outside that's what happens on the very high arch well, foot I use people that here, Greg. Showing that thing around. yeah my insole yeah I have this. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Yeah, you have this insole. Yeah, these are these are okay, but you need these are like a regular insoles. But uh -huh. this, you need you need more support here, and then you need support on the outside so that you're not walking like this anymore. Okay. Yeah, that's something that I do for a lot of patients with the high arch for people. Well, high arch can it's better than flat arch, but it has its own problems. You know, it's very. Um, unstable sometimes because it's very rigid very rigid but the flex the flat feet are very flexible but they're kind of unstable feet but this is stable but it's unstable because of the structure is too hard and it you tend to walk on the outside of the foot so we can kind of mitigate that and help a lot with that oh okay yeah so i'm gonna grind it down right. real good so that um Gonna look beautiful when we're done. Well, of course, you're in the distance. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. You okay there? You feel okay? Yes, yeah, I do. Okay. Very good. So, what, what other doctors do you see? You see your cardiologist, and who else do you see? Oh, uh, yeah, well, a general practitioner. Uh -huh. And, uh, who else do you see? Oh, you're off the mountain? The dentist? They don't, they don't, they don't do any dental work. They don't have a lot of blood. Oh, they don't? Yeah, 
They don't, they, don't, they don't want you to bleed, huh? Yeah, they don't want you. Hi, hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word blood thinner in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, yeah. So, that's why, you know, pulling that one. Really? So they, they can't do anything then? They, they can't even clean it? Uh, yeah, they probably didn't clean it, but it should be anything else. They don't want to be taken. Yeah. And my doctor doesn't like that, they're always wanting to. Uh-huh. Yeah, it'd be dangerous. Well, I don't know what to do. I know, that's a problem. But you need to be off the medicine for a while when you do the, any procedures, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what happens usually. And people do okay with that, because I have blood thinner, people on blood thinner, and if they need foot surgery, then we get them off about a, about a week before, and then they, they're they fine with it, usually. Oh, good. Yeah, so. If you need dental work, you may have to do that, you know? This one's really thick, huh? Yeah, that's good. So, with, with that uh, orthotic you have, um, I can I can build it up a little bit on the outside and see if it gives you more stability, okay? I can. Put something on there oh you do okay so we could maybe we should work on the new one and we have something over the counter that we have here also that we can modify and probably so you'll be able to use it you you, you use mostly sandal yeah oh okay do you wear other athletic shoes or no no oh okay so, oh i see so you oh you need your so in the wintertime, I wear sandals and socks. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And uh, I, I like sandals too, so. I mean, I have to, but yeah. there's sense tomorrow. Yeah. Because I'll just hurt my toes. Right. Yeah. So we can, we can work on that a little bit to give you more stability on your, on your feet. Because the high arch foot people, are kind of wobbly because it's too rigid and you walk on the outside so a lot of people end up spraining their ankle a lot oh, yeah yeah so a lot of high foot people have that problem so this one's a little bit long so we need to it down quite a bit here I don't want to make a bleed, so I have to be super careful. I've got to put it down. Do your feet get really cold all the time? Oh, yeah, the hands. Uh huh. I'm getting up there and it's Yeah. Did we do a circulation test on you? No, we never did? No. Oh, okay, maybe. Maybe that's what we should do. Yeah. You're not diabetic, right? No. Okay, so maybe... But your feet are really cold, so I think we need to... Huh? It's cold in here, right? Yeah. You're right. Unfortunately, we can't control it. It's a, it's a whole building is one unit. That's why we're freezing here, and as you go up, that they're they're too hot up there. Yeah, I mean, it's too cold. I know it's a little bit cold, huh? Yeah, cold. Okay. How do you like it? A little bit better. I can't see. Oh, I can't see. Are they better, Greg? Right? You, you approve? Got the big toenails and the little toenails, right? Before and after, but that's okay. Yeah. You approve, Greg? I approve. Okay. Thank you. I mean, oh. I can see, but I can't. I'm like, I can't. What's a good yeah. timeline for bringing her in to get it? Every couple of months. <gasps> yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, I know. It's too soon now. Yeah. Two, three months. If you want to go a little longer, it's okay. All right. Very good. Yeah. 
Thank you, Martha, for allowing us to come here today. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, since she was on a blood thinner, I had to be really careful not to cut too much of the nail. And then I ended up grinding the most of the nails. So she ended up doing quite well without bleeding. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.